Saturday 8th of October and it's a sunny breezy afternoon down the allotment. I'm going to try and get a bit of digging done over today so uh, I'm going to try and get this bed dug over. This had our broad beans in it never got dug over when the broad beans came out because it was far too dry and if I can manage that I might then see if I can get that one dug over as well. That had our potatoes in and that again was really dry when the spuds came out so I just couldn't dig it over so I'm going to see if I can do that this afternoon. Two beds in one afternoon might be a bit too much but I'll see where I get to. This is what's left of our runner beans. These are heritage ones so we've left the beans on in the hope that they'd dry off but that's not really happened. Don't think I can leave them on here much longer because they'll finish up uh, just rotting. The odd one has dried off, there's one down here. There's one there that's managed to dry off but the rest aren't making much effort so I think I'll just have to take them off, take them home, see if we can get them to dry off at home so we can get all these wigwams down. There might even be a few of these um, pongo beans left to take off down there. Making a start today at getting the runner bean poles down. It's a job we need to get done before winter so we can get the canes into the greenhouse and get them a bit of winter protection. And also be able to start see if these beds will dig over as well. Yeah, I'll go around and do tops. Okay. I'll bob round and do tops. So having cleared all the ponds away, we've found some, what are they? Verbenas growing. Verbena bonariensis. So we've already got some in this bucket. Themselves. Yeah, so we're going to move them. Got about six in there. Six in the bucket. There's about two more here two more that we're going to dig up and move into the perennial bed then we can clear all the rubbish out of these two Anymore. It's 
because we might come across some that we're weeding. I do. Mm. Yep, okay. All the canes are going to be sorted out and go in the greenhouse over winter to give them a little bit of protection from the weather. Go on, I'll let you get through. So that's the next job now, to sort out some... I'll tie them up in bundles ready to go into the greenhouse. Just going to pick a few more quinces today, don't want an awful lot. Freezer full of them. But we have them cooked down with some sugar with our porridge on the morning. I just want a few to make a bit more. Just get a couple more. It, just a quick little harvest. Hopefully I'll get those cooked down with some sugar tomorrow. Our makeshift strawberry bed is filling up. Not only did we get some runners off the newer strawberry plant, Sue found some strawberry plant strawberry plants growing in our old strawberry bed that's not been dug over, partly for the reason of it's just too dry, but Nevertheless, these plants had started to grow, so they've gone in our makeshift strawberry bed. See what we get another year off those. This is as far as we've got clearing the runner beans. So the runner beans are all gone. Canes are in the greenhouse. Got to decide what to do with all the pea sticks and such like. But managed to get one of these beds dug over. It's not in the best of conditions, there's some shockingly big solid hard lumps in it, like that one there that can't really do much with. So I'm planning on leaving it open to the rain, frost over winter, that should sort it out. I did start this one, but it's going to be as hard as the other one. It's it's lovely, sort of, until you get just a bit more than a sort of six inch, top six inches is all right, but below that, it's still rock hard and you get big lumps like that. So still in need of a drop more rain. Anyway, that's as far as we've got the allotment this weekend. It's now uh, not too sure when we're planning on another visit. It's turned out to be quite a nice night after threatening rain not long ago. It's never arrived though. It's Friday 14th of October. Got a few jobs done down the plot. Well, a few jobs got started on digging over the old strawberry bed. Um, it's been a bit of a mess all year. Haven't been able to do anything obviously too dry but it's not too bad for getting the fork in but Gordon Bennett it's going to need um, some real winter weather to break this down it's in a real state at the moment so I've got about half maybe just over a third of it done got to move those grow bags next get the strawberries out of there so that was part of today's job to get that done Sue has started taking down one of our sweet pea frames so that started to come down over here and we're going to get rained on now so we're going to have to pack up fairly quickly so Sue's so got sweet pea corms, homes down it's just a matter now of getting the stakes out and saving them for next year starting thought it was should start packing up so I have picked some more quinces another bucket full um, but at the minute I've made an impression on the tree it's still covered in quinces and we've had loads of it 
Um, don't know what I'll do with the rest. Just to finish off today's harvest, um, you can see another bucket full of quinces. Sue has taken down, well today she's taken down and cleared out the strawberry plants from the plot greenhouse. So that's what's in there. And we've got cabbage and a nice cauliflower. So I'm going to have to pack up now because it's raining. doesn't look at all promising. No, it's probably just a shower but I'm going to get packed up and uh, get everything in the car and head for home.